morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1049th installment of these educational videos, and these videos are here to teach you the art of technical analysis. Traders, the art of technical analysis is about the best roadmap you will ever find in figuring out where a stock, a commodity, an ETF, sometimes even the weather, is going to go next. I've got 1,048 other videos with unequivocal proof that analysis is about the best thing out there. Now traders, we know futures trading is extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. It's not suitable for all traders. You must know the risks behind trading. Always place a stop first. You know, make sure that you know what you're doing. But for you traders that know what they're doing, rock and roll because I am even going to clap for this Red Omni. I hate clapping for them. but. Great stuff on the board. This video is being filmed on Wednesday night for trading, Thursday, July 25th, 2013. A lot of stuff here. One, I'm going to start off by saying this, traders. In the video right before this one, video 1048, I stood in front of you and said, traders, I did a video about 10 days ago and I said, look, my charts tell me that Europe is about to come online. The charts tell me economically Europe is about to join our recovery. 10 full, really 12 full days later, Barron's comes out, front page article that says, get ready, Europe about to come online. Now that made us 10 days ahead of Barron's. And do you know why we're 10 days ahead of Barron's? This is to prove that every time I've said this to you, if you haven't believed it before, you need to believe it now. The reason why Barron's is behind this is because Barron's uses mostly fundamental information to figure out what's coming next, and they're pretty good. The problem is, the chart shows you what the fundamental news is going to bring before the fundamental news breaks. So I was able to spot it, and here is why. This is a statement I want you to always remember. A chart, a graph, a chart is nothing more than a visual look at fundamental news, all of it, and traders' reaction to such. The beauty of it is the chart shows that to you first. Traders, we are on six weeks Two days, no losing trades in the S&P or NASDAQ. Knock on wood, I know futures trading is risky and past performance is not indicative of future results. But that's what's been going on using the technical analysis. And you might note this. I have been, Omni has been as bullish as the day is long. Days and days on end. We call buy trade after buy trade after buy trade. Guess what? Out of nowhere, we call a sell trade for yesterday. We sell the highs. My goodness. Go Omni, it sells the highs. It's calling for another sell Omni today. Now for you Omniacs that know me, you know I am as quick as the day is long. I am the biggest bull in the world when it's bullish. I'm the biggest bear in the world when it's bearish. But a lot of you traders write letters go, Oscar, you're a one-track minded guy. You're just bullish. Why? We're in a bull market. Of course I'm bullish. But look at how fast I turned my arrow. The first day the market turned lower, we were short for it. Thank you, Omni. So listen. Uh, it's all about analysis. This is proof of two things. One, I do not put my opinion in the market because I would have been buying. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't listen to me. And fundamental analysis is useless if you do not know that it already came out in the chart first. Look at the chart. Know that a chart is merely a visual look of all the fundamental news that's out there and traders' reaction to such. With that in mind, let's go to the board. Traders for trading on Tuesday, oh, excuse me, for trading on Thursday. I hate short trades in a bull market. We're in a big booming bull market. You better be quick like Jack being nimble, jumping over his candlestick when you do short. But I will say this. In the ES, we were bullish for weeks on end. Yesterday, Omni said sell. We sold the high. Today, Omni says sell. I'm not saying a word, but telling you that we should be short. For two weeks now, I have warned, let bonds breathe. They need to go higher, but I have told you time after time, bonds are on the close watch, right? So I said, I'll tell you every single day, what should we do? I'll make sure I'm on it. Well, look at the rest of this sentence. Yesterday on 
on Wednesday, Bonds, the Omni gives Bonds the go-ahead sell signal. We sold the high tick in Bonds yesterday. The high tick. It's been going up for, what, two and a half weeks? Omni doesn't want to buy anything but doesn't want to sell. The day Omni decides it wants to go short, boom, the Bonds break. So analysis is what that's about. Forget the fundamentals. You follow the charts. So traders on the board, I'm going to go into some charts very quickly, but I want to just read a few things. Again, for two weeks, it warned about the breather. The breather, I think, is over. Bond should come down. Do not fall in love with the downside on the ES. I don't know how much more downside we're going to get. A half a day, a half a week, a half a month. We're taking it one hour at a time with tomorrow's trade in the ES. Is gold next? Here's why. Easy trade to see the bonds come out of the bear flag. Another easy trade when, when you look at this s and I'm going to show you in a few moments. I think that gold may be next. Traders, if you like the analysis in these videos, if you'd like to come on down to livewithoscar.com and come into my free trading room, I'll be more than glad to explain the charts, how I use them, how you should use them, and why you should not listen to that fundamental analysis. Last but not least, I am holding an Omnicamp in the end of September. I hold six people only at that Omnicamp, no matter how many of you fill out applications, I will qualify only six of you. If you'd like to come out to Vegas for four straight days and study with me and learn how to call an Omni for yourself, come to LiveOlaska.com, click the Omnicamp banner application, fill out that application, and I will personally call you and qualify you. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, Oscar Carboni is holding another Omnicamp live in Las Vegas. Omnicamp is an intensive four-day course taught by the Wall Street whiz Oscar Carboni himself. Oscar has been analyzing markets and trading commodities on and off the New York trading pits for over 30 years. Trading for a living is a very difficult business. Oscar will simplify the process so that you can easily understand and analyze the markets. Classes are limited. For more information, call 702-629-4755. Our phones are staffed 24-7. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Trading futures is not suitable for all accounts. Traders, a testament to technical analysis. I have been bullish for quite some time. We have called bull trades almost every day throughout this entire channel. And... We call the bear trade for this day because we fell out, and I put this chart before your eyes in yesterday's video for Trading Wednesday. So Tuesday night for Trading Wednesday, I put this exact chart before your eyes. I said, oops, no more long, time to go short. And this is what happened. Amazingly, this is what happened today. Bravo, technical analysis. Once again, this is today. This is what happened yesterday. Is that unbelievable or what, traders? That is just amazing. Let's keep looking. Next, this chart I've been showing you for weeks on end. It is the daily T-bond chart, and I've shown you one bear flag leads to the next, to the next, to the next. So for two weeks now, I've been telling you, sit tight, traders. I'll tell you when it's time to go. Don't sell, don't sell bonds. Don't sell bonds. And yesterday or Tuesday night for Wednesday's video, I put this chart before your eyes. And I said, oops, looks like it's probably time to sell. Watch what happens. That is what happened on Wednesday. My goodness, again, another round of applause for technical analysis. Now, yesterday, today, traders, this is amazing. You can't write, you can't make this stuff up. Now that you've seen what happens when you come out of flags, let's move forward. This is the goal. I have told you, do not do anything with gold until I tell you it's time. My number in gold, my OmniX at the site knew this for quite some time, was 1248. Excuse me, 1348. My number in gold, 1348. It got to about 1349. Omni went into a sell immediately as of today, and we expect the market to now come down. Remember those flags and what happens when you come out of a flag? Tomorrow I say we get to the bottom of it, and by the next day we come out of that flag. That's the analysis we're looking for. 
There is your bonds, there is your daily Dow, and there is the gold market. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework. Flags are very powerful if they are held in the right hands. Traders, you've seen the charts. There's my technical argument for why we're going to have the Red Omni in the ES NASDAQ tomorrow, but let me say something. Be very nimble. I am not happy being short in the S&P. I don't know how much time we get on the downside, but I do think hitting 49 and stopping, Omni was dead on with that. So I do expect that now that we've gotten the go-ahead in bonds and gold, I think that's what we're going to get. One more thing about technical analysis, traders. I came out last night. I did a little bit of those wacky, you know, those wonderful graphics that you guys, and by the way, to my editor, thank you so much, Vince, for these great graphics. You're doing great videos for me. During those little, you know, we did those funny little graphics, but they were there to tell you this. Bonds and S&P are going to go down at the same time. Both of them tomorrow are going to go down. That's what I said in Tuesday night's video for Wednesday. Both of them went down on Wednesday. Rock and roll technical analysis. Forget about Wednesday. Head down, nose to the grindstone, on to the next trade. The next trade is, let's hope we can get away with another short in the S&P. I think bonds and gold are finally baked. Traders. LiveWithOscar.com is where you will learn. LiveWithOscar.com is where you can sign up for absolutely on the moment, at the spot, real-time trading recommendations, where to buy, where to sell, where to place your stops. I am there to send them to you. They pop up in a window that rings and tells you exactly what to do. And we are here to run those trades for you 24 hours a day. That's called the premium or platinum membership at LiveWithOscar.com. If you join it, I will give you my signals the instant they come out. Traders, remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll. I think the gold is baked. Get ready for some downside. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.